Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMemoto.com. In this video we're going to study acute, obtuse and right triangles and I've made this lesson for approximately 4th grade level. Now, here's an acute triangle. This means that all of its angles are acute and then an obtuse triangle means that the triangle has one obtuse angle and a right triangle means that the triangle has one right angle. But to make these definitions stick in students' minds, I like to use drawing exercises where they will do hands-on work and actually explore and learn more about the angles in these different kinds of triangles. So let's get started. First, draw a right angle, angle, not a triangle, and then make it into a triangle, and then measure the other angles. So let's draw a right triangle by first starting with an angle, with a right angle. I will draw a right angle. The side lengths can be any, so it doesn't matter how long you draw the lines. Here's one side and then I need to draw a right angle and remember how to draw it, right? I need to line up my protractor just right here at the 90 degree mark and then over here. There, so now I have my right angle here. And now I can make this into a triangle by drawing in the third side anywhere, here, 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 lots of possibilities. There, and now our task is to measure the other angles. But you can notice, the idea is to notice that this angle and this angle are both going to be acute angles. They are way less than 90 degrees, right? So, I'll measure. Okay, just a little over 30 degrees, 32 degrees. And then over here, okay, I got exactly 60 degrees. And uh, that is quite normal that when you're drawing and measuring, that you, it's so hard to measure and draw very accurately, especially with my big marker pen that this kind of thing is normal. I, I know in my mind that these angles should add up to 180 degrees and it looks like they don't. But what it is, is either I measured this a little off or, or I drew this a little off or, or drew something off. This is normal and not, nothing to worry about. The idea here is actually to notice that both of these other angles are acute. And then students should repeat this exercise using an obtuse angle to start with. Draw here an obtuse angle somewhere there, make it into a triangle, and measure the angles and notice that the two angles have to be acute. And they can even make several triangles. Maybe the task would be draw three different obtuse triangles and check. Or draw several different right triangles and check. Okay. And here we have another kind of exercise on the similar lines. It gives us two angles and then we need to check what kind of triangle we get. Draw a triangle with 45 degree and 35 degree angles, and then measure the third angle. What kind of triangle did you get? So, I need to first, again it doesn't tell me the sides, the side length, so I can choose my side length to be any. I'm going to just draw a side here, then draw my 45 degree angle, it's going to be kind of like this, right? Then I'm going to draw my 35 degree angle over here. And now, 45 degrees. This kind of exercise also gives students a lot of practice with measuring angles and drawing angles. So they can't just forget that. Okay, here's my 45 degrees. Then from here I will draw the 35 degree angle. Okay, 35 degrees. So, let's measure now the third angle here. Need to line up the protractor and this is right. Okay, this is now from here all the way to here. So I go from 
it's past 90 degrees. Oh, it seems to be exactly 100 degrees. So I got an obtuse triangle. There. And I like drawing exercises for geometry because they are hands-on and they help the concepts to stick in students' mind. And lastly, draw a diagonal into this rectangle. A diagonal is a line from corner to some other corner that goes inside the figure. And then, what kind of triangles are formed? So I basically need to draw a line from this corner to this corner. And this is not long enough, so I'll grab my regular ruler. I'm going to use this, a regular ruler, to draw a line. And you know, maybe you want a student, maybe you want your students to make a guess as to what kind of triangles will be formed before they actually draw the line. Okay, and now I have two triangles. What kind of triangles are they? So here's a tri triangle, and here's another. They are actually congruent triangles. But this triangle here, clearly, hopefully students notice that since here is a right angle, then it is a right triangle. Right triangles are formed. But then what is interesting is to repeat this same idea using a parallelogram. Draw a parallelogram. I'll just sketch one here real quick. Okay, and then draw a diagonal into it and then check what kind of triangles you get then. And this here is clearly an obtuse triangle, right? Obtuse angle here, obtuse angle here. But what if I drew the diagonal the other way? Or had a little bit different looking parallelogram? So this is something for you to explore on your own.